Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to a back to school evening routine. This video has been highly requested since the boys went back to school. So today I'm going to show you everything that we do in terms of homework. I'm also going to show you the cleaning tasks that I get done and how I get the kids involved in cleaning. I'm going to show you our family meal bath and bedtime, playing in the garden, my skincare routine, and just everything else that I do to get ready for the next day. So I hope you really enjoy this video. And with all that said, let's get into it. So once I get the kids home from school, they'll normally play either outside or inside with their toys and I will get them a snack. They're normally really starving after their long day at school or preschool and it's pretty much always crisps or fruit. So today you can see they're eating some crisps outside. The weather here has been incredible this autumn. It's been really warm and sunny so we've been making the most of it. So they were pretty much outside in the garden. Fraser's always got a football near by Caleb's pretty much always on this bar and then Jackson is out there playing with some toys as well so while they're doing that happily the first thing I'm going to do is empty their snack bags from school or their lunch bags this is so important because I have left this before and it's really not a nice thing to be faced with in the morning when there's like bits of leftover food in there so I will take everything out immediately give it a good wipe if it needs it and then wash anything else that I need to wash out of the bags so that they're ready for the next day. I tend to just leave them out on the side for the next day and I normally prepare their snacks for school um, fresh in the morning. I don't tend to do it at night. Um, now the boys are inside. Jackson is still loving Lego. Caleb is chilling out watching Henry Danger so I'm gonna get on with dinner. And tonight we're having a meal from our Hello Fresh box. It arrived just yesterday so I have three different family meals to choose from and Hello Fresh have also sponsored this video and said that my viewers can have an amazing discount. I'll put the code on screen here and there's also a link in my description. If you use that, you'll get 50% off your first HelloFresh box and then a further 35% off your next three boxes. So it's well worth giving it a try if you've never have before. I love ordering from them because they have such a variety of easy meals that will suit anyone's lifestyle. So I've actually been ordering a lot of vegetarian meals from HelloFresh fresh recently because we're trying to eat less meat and they have great recipe ideas on there I think there's six every week but they also do premium meals if you wanted something special or they do balanced meals which means they're under 600 calories but my personal favorite ones to order are the rapid meals which means they take just 20 minutes to make so that's what I'm gonna do tonight I'm making some meatless spaghetti and meatballs which I know the whole family will love so you get all the fresh ingredients sent to you all pre-proportioned out down to the little like pot of Italian herbs and all I have to do is follow the recipe card which I've always found very easy to follow. I also love to save the HelloFresh recipe cards and remake our favorites over and over again. Some of the meals we've had from them have become our staple dinners that I make all the time. It's also a flexible subscription so you can pause or cancel whenever you want to and I feel like whenever we have a HelloFresh meal to make it's just a stress-free easy dinner night and I was also thinking with back to school this would be such a good thing for a uni student if you wanted to send it to your kids at uni or you are at uni yourself it actually works out really reasonable I think it's like three pounds 44 per portion that's what it starts at and it's obviously fresh ingredients you know from scratch it's still homemade dinners um, and it definitely gives you some great ideas confidence in the kitchen and my mum used to always send me like groceries especially at exam time so it might also be a really good thing for uni students and college students to try out but anyway I'm gonna get on make our dinner and then quickly tidy up and then get everyone to the table
I can't believe the tongs just broke as I was serving up the spaghetti, but they're actually so very old. They were actually my mum's and she gave them to me when she moved back to Canada. So, you know, very well loved. But anyway, I'm going to serve up dinner, get everyone to the breakfast bar. We tend to always eat there as a family now. We rarely use our dining table. Um, and once we've eaten, we then are going to get Fraser ready for football training because he has that tonight. We've only really been doing two clubs since we've been back to school and that is football training and swimming as well so he's getting ready for football but before he goes he needs to do a little bit of homework during the week we have to do timetables reading and practice their spellings every night um, and then we also do like more homework on the weekends but they always have to do those three things every evening which doesn't actually take very long then I was putting any leftovers in the fridge which I think I'll have that for lunch tomorrow and then I'm going to quickly fold some laundry and tidy up while the two little ones are chilling. Matt has now taken Fraser to football training so it's just me and the two little ones tonight. Oh, and I should also say that once the boys are done their dinner, they have to put it into the dishwasher or wash it in the sink. So Caleb is doing that now and they need to do that before they get dessert. And tonight for dessert, Caleb really wanted to have a smoothie lolly. So it's literally just a kid's smoothie that I freeze in the freezer and they really love to have them. <laughs> So I managed to get all of the laundry put away and then I also changed the sheets on Jackson's bed because I decided to wash them today. Now I'm going to finish all of the dishes left over from dinner. I always try to do this before we go upstairs for the bath and bedtime routine because there is nothing worse than once the kids are all in bed, you come downstairs to a messy kitchen. I just hate it. So I always try to get it all clean before we go up. Now Caleb is helping himself to a biscuit that I said that he could have and now we have to tidy up all of the toys and the way that I get the kids involved is I do the same thing that I've always done and that is put on the tidy up song on our Google Home and it's basically just a two and a half minute song and while it's playing the boys have to help me run around and tidy up all the toys and games and it's amazing how much we can get done while the song is playing. Caleb's really good at helping out. I noticed that Jackson who was supposed to be tidying up Lego was pretty much just playing with it but another way that I got them to help so quickly was because I promised them that once we tidied up that they could have a little bit more time outside playing in the garden and we're also going to have a go on Jackson's new little ride along car and then I'm also going to wipe down surfaces and turn on our robot vacuum as well. <laughs>
after a little bit of time out front, I'm going to let Caleb go on the bar for a bit longer. And I should have mentioned that he's wearing pajamas because as soon as he gets in from school, he likes to change into his comfies. It's like his favorite thing to wear. And he pretty much lived in PJs during lockdown. Um, but anyway, they love playing outside. So it's always really hard to get them up the stairs to the bath. So what I normally say is I'm going to win. And then when it's a race, they really want to get upstairs. So now I'm going to do the bath. I pretty much tend to use child's farm products on their skin they're really sensitive and that seems to work really well so i'll just put in some toys to the bath and let them play and then once they're out of the bath or even sometimes when they're in the bath i will get everything ready for the next day so i will lay out their uniforms i always have three piles on our banister like this and then it's really easy in the morning to say to the boys go and get dressed they know where their clothes are, everything's together and ready to go. And then after the bath tonight, we're going to play loom bands. The boys love playing with this and I feel like it really calms them down. Don't get me wrong, normally after we've played loom bands, we will go and have a little dance party in Fraser's room. Um, but they love to make little bracelets out of this. So before they go to bed, I normally let them have a song on the Google Mini that is in Fraser's room. It's their favorite thing to do, have a little dance party before bed, and you can just ask it to play anything you want. So at the moment, Jackson always wants the Troll soundtrack. It's the cutest thing. I would play the music for you here so you could see him, but I know it's copyright music, so I don't want to get in trouble, but he really loves it. And people in the past have asked me if letting them have a dance party like this gets them like hyper before bed but they seem fine with it and they always promise that after one or two songs that they'll go to bed so when it is time I'll take Jackson into his room he's just finishing off his milk he still has just cow's milk before bed and then I'm going to brush his teeth with his little electric toothbrush and while I'm putting him to bed Caleb is in his own room either reading his book or if he's really exhausted I'll let him have my phone for the 10 to 15 minutes that I put Jackson to bed and I'll show you what stories I'm reading to him tonight tonight he wanted to read the short side a giraffe he really likes that book and then we're also going to read the otter who loved to hold hands so it's normally two books and then he goes to bed quite easily and then I go into Caleb's room so before Caleb goes to bed tonight, we're just going to practice his spellings, read for 10 minutes, and we'll also do his timetables on my phone. He does timetable rock stars, and it's really easy to do it on there. It's not ideal doing homework right before bed, but it's the way that he works best. So I just need to go with it for now. Then Fraser got home from football training, had a shower, and then started reading his book. At the moment, he is reading Around the World in 80 Days. He loves a uh, adventure books and he really did enjoy this one but anyway once they are all in bed I have got into the habit of washing my face and doing my skincare routine before I go downstairs I just find it makes life a bit easier when I go up to bed I hate when I'm like oh I've got to do my whole skincare routine but first off I am going to do a pre-cleanse with a Dermalogica pre-cleanse so it's like a little cream that you put onto your face and then it comes with a little mitt and you like rub that around and it kind of foams up breaks down all of the oily makeup and really helps to get it off but my biggest tip with skincare not that I'm some like skincare guru or anything but if you're interested um, I always double cleanse so I'll always do a pre-cleanse and then I will cleanse again and I tend to always use a flannel I just feel really clean once I've used a washcloth so as you can probably see like all the makeup from the day is coming off so now that I have all of that off I'm going to clean and tonight I'm using a skin resurfacing cleanser it's quite a strong cleanser but I only use it at night and I use a softer one during the day then I'm using a little resurfacing pad I only tend to use this three times a week then I'm going to tone my skin using a multi-active toner, also from Dermalogica. And then I'm going to use my night cream, which is this Sound Sleep Cocoon. I really like it. Then I'm just going to get into my comfies, come downstairs and make myself either a decaf coffee 
or I've got really into herbal tea, but I think I'm having a decaf tonight. And then once I have that, I'll either just chill out on the sofa or to be honest, most of the time I will get on and do some work. So tonight I'm editing a video. I'm also gonna be doing a voiceover like this. So I'm just gonna get on, do that. I've got some Harry Bow to like cheer me up because I'm working. Um, but that is pretty much it. That is all that I'm gonna do today. So thank you so much for watching. And I really hope that back to school has gone well for you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.